Hello, everybody. Today we're playing Mother 3. And I'm using a, um, EverDrive to launch this, play this game. I actually do own a copy of this game. A Japanese copy. Just saying. <clears throat> Nowhere Islands. This is by far one of the greatest games I've ever played. I still haven't beaten it, even. I've gotten, I want to say, to chapter 7 or 8 or something? I don't even know. I think there's 12 or 13 chapters. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. Home of Alec, Hinawa's father. This is like me every morning. I don't want to get up. I don't care about nothing. Leave me be, bitches. A real wood-burning stove. The same bedhead as always. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. Yes, mother. Bitch. Looking handsome. At least he has confidence. These chickens. Come back here, chicken. Chicken. You late riser. Wait, what do you say? You're awake? Clock. Oink oink. What the pig next to me says worries me. Don't worry about it. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. It'd be handy to remember that. Why? Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day. You head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. Hello, Froggy. Sorry, I'm not reading this. Uh, if you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please, tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. This is what people refer to as saving. Now then. Save your game. Yeah, see, chapter seven, that's where I'm at. I don't want to save over my saves. I'm in a tough spot in these games. I'll save over this one. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. You got it, Mr. Frog. I've contemplated doing covers of, or remixes of these songs. And putting them on my other channel. These are the Dragos. 
gasp. Whew, I'm beat. I've been playing fighting with Dracos all day. Or all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Um... Okay... Here, try ramming into the Drago. Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Yes, I do. Lucas, try to imagine a thing called a B button. And then hold that B button for a second, and then let go. Doing this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into the Drago right there. Klaus, show him an example. Yes, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. You'll never succeed with such a sullen look on your face. Your face that holds true for anything, just relax. Oh, sorry. That holds true for anything, just relax. <clears throat> Bye, bitches. They're so big and stupid. Big dumb dummies. They're supposed to be harmless, but that does not... That is not entirely true. Wah! <laughs> Your ram attacks don't work on me, Lucas. You're a weakling now, but I just know that someday you'll be stronger than anyone else. Ha 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 ha! Is that foreshadowing? No. Yes, maybe so. Wait, where are you going? We're having so much fun here. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty bored running into these fucking fake dinosaurs. <sighs> Sorry. The harder you run into them, the more fun, or the more the Dragos like it. Move it! Out of the way! Make way for the great mole cricket! I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you! Get in my way and you're in for a world of trouble. A world of pain. And this is how we're interest introduced to the battle system. You encountered the mole cricket. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. So, interesting thing about this game is... The music is very important, and this is why another reason why I love this game, because I love music. But, you have to attack with the beat of the music. I'll show you. Well, if I can, anyway. There we go. The Mold Cricket surrendered. You won! Lucas' company earned two experience points. Only two? Tch, lousy. I see you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, a, if you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the Big Mole Cricket Hole Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there, bro.
I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's all right. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite boys omelets. Ooh, lunch, lunch, omelets. I hate omelets, by the way. You too, Dad. This is the part where I break the fourth wall and start talking about stuff. Now then. Listen, folks. Here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious or troublesome. So you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. Hey, wait for me! You saved me some omelets too, I hope. But yeah, this game came out for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I think it was like in 2005. And it only came out in Japan. It did not come out in the US. So this is a famously good fan translation mod or patch or whatever you want to call it for the game and that is the only reason why it is totally playable at this point what's your favorite food mom oh omelets then you fa then your favorite is the same as ours we make a good match after we're done eating we need to get ready to go home we have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids could make it here, uh, make it there. I bet the kids could make it here on their own. It's that safe. I bet even you could handle it, Lucas. Ha 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 ha. Quit picking on the poor boy. Just because he's a runt doesn't mean he's... A loser. Oh, this part. Ugh. This is a long part to read. Dear Flint, Just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and, ha and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is a dar as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled. But neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long. But we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in that smell of sheep back in Tasmili Village. So I really wish you could have been here to take in, in the, this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend the sheep. So we can all come up as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite omelets right away. With love, your dearest, Hinawa. <laughs> go, bird, go! By the way, this game is truly trippy. Some very trippy weird shit that happens in this game. But it... It's perfect. It's one of the greatest games ever. It should have came out in the US. It should have. Dun 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 dun.
This would be a good song to do a remix to as well. Chapter 1, Night of the Funeral. Heavy foreshadowing there. Flint! 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 It's a fire! A fire! A fire! The Sunshine Forest is on fire in a huge fiery flamey fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do my cool guy thing. <laughs> Alright, actually, this is where we're gonna stop it for t this episode. If you guys like this, remember to, to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace out.